hello everyone i'm back today i'm making lamb shanks it was a request it's nice for sunday lunch or nice special occasion and it's just um, i've got so many different recipes for lamb shanks but today i'm just making this simple simple version my simple version the salt and pepper and garlic one okay so i've got Switching on my heat. And his son is quiet. Because he was waiting on me to play with him. And I'm just chopping away some onion. Just so roughly. I've put um, a little pepper. Not too much because I want to see it now. And you know the pepper does tend to. Black pepper does tend to burn a bit more. And I've got um, onions. So this is basically the base for my gravy as well, the aromatics. And I've got three cloves of garlic. Let me show you. The onions, that's like a two and a half onions, three cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped, and one carrot, not even peeled, just chopped up, washed and chopped. Okay, I've got my salt ready. And the salt my lamb shanks generously okay really important because we're flavoring the meat and we are making the gravy okay I can know I can forget the mistake and this I'm just gonna check for that but let's wait a while. You want a nice hot oil. Okay, pot is nice and hot. I've also cut some, one sliver in each shank and just put a thin um, piece of garlic in there. You don't have to do it. Ooh, oh, gee. To move it, move it. Okay. Wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my onion, my carrot. Put it in there by the gas. I won't, I'm not going to add my garlic now. I'm going to burn. I'm going to add it just now. <laughs> okay, now we're just going to let that go and I'm going to brown this, really brown this almost dark brown okay and i'm gonna turn it so after 10 minutes turn 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 and then i'm gonna add hot water okay guys as you can see i browned it on all the sides and now i'm also browning it from the bottom very important and it's at this stage where i feel everything's browning enough i'm gonna add my garlic and now I'm going to add more salt, a little bit more salt, and lots of pepper. Okay guys, so now they're really, really brown. That's what you want. It's not burnt. So if you're doing it on a medium heat, and at this stage, I'm going to add two liters of water. That is hot water. Bring it to a boil, then lower your heat to medium between low and medium and then you let this simmer for two hours and we'll be right back okay guys the lamb shanks they are done it went for about an hour and 50 minutes yes depending on your size of course i don't want to you can cook it longer and have it fall of the bone if you don't want to present it like with a bone up so I'm going to stop right here. It's quite tender. And then next I'm going to make my gravy. 
Okay, so I'm going to take the, make the gravy now. I took out the lamb shanks and now I'm just going to strain my sauce, the leftover sauce. There we go. Okay. They come in. And then I've got some pesto here. Just about um, three to four tablespoons mixed with some water. If you want your gravy to become a very dark color and you didn't brown your onions dark enough, um, my trusted, the, the trusted soy sauce, you add like a teaspoon, not too much, and you let that bubble away. Okay. Okay, let me do this. Get all that juices out. There we go. I'm gonna add my pesto. Okay. I'm also gonna stir to make it as thick or as thin as you like. I'm gonna make it nice and thickish. So I just boil it down a bit more. Or you can add more bisto to make it thicker because bisto contains corn flour mazina, which thickens sauces. And the brown in the bisto is the beefy flavor or the lamb flavor. A meaty flavor sorry so this is just gonna cook until it reduces that's my gravy next is my mash and potato okay so yeah I have some about a kilo of um, soft cooking potatoes and I've added a little bit of salt because I'll add salt later I'll taste and I've boiled it until soft I'm gonna strain it a little bit and then I'm gonna add some milk milk and butter um, and then just mash it okay so the mash is done I just used a whisk now you can um, cook your potatoes with a piece of garlic to make it a garlicky mash you can add mascarpone fresh cream chives even mustard I'm keeping it plain Jane today no was do a Okay guys, there's the lamb shanks done, the gravy, my vegetables with butter and chives, and there's my smooth, hot, warm, buttery mashed potato. Okay, the next visual is I'm going inside, we're going to eat by the fire. Na? And there we go guys, by the fireplace. There is the lamb shank, the veggies, and we're going to dish up. Look at that. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs> looky, looky. Okay, guys, you thought it's bye-bye, no? It's not. I'm going to dish up now. Wait, just hang on. Okay, guys, I'm just going to dish up us foodie now. I'll show you now, now what it looks like. Okay. Get his lamb shank. Nice and soft. Veggies, some veggies, Oopie. okay. Now, I'm going to 
pour over the gravy with a lemon shake. Here we go. Oh, looky, looky. Look at that. There it is, guys. Papa split lamb shank with mashed potatoes. Beautiful, beautiful lunch or dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. There we go. Oh, we just stay. Spoiled.